Hi there ladies, it's Manisha here, welcome back to my channel. So, and for those that follow me, you've probably seen a video I just in recently of polishes that I purchased when I was on a recent trip to America. And um, this is just one of the sets of the um, art inks that I bought. I've got another set as well. So today I'm just going to be doing a video where I have a bit of a play with them. Um, I just want to get familiar with them. I'm going to be trying some techniques and mixing colours and things like that. So I'm not going to be doing these on my own nails. I've already got a couple of nail arts already done here. Um, but I'm going to be doing them on these practice nails. So they do advise to do them on a matte top coat. So I've um, just top coated these. Um, they're actually already white to start with so I didn't bother um, painting them first so I've just gone ahead and done a matte top coat so I'm going to be doing it on this and I'm going to be using the special blending fluid that you get so you get one bottle per set and um, so I'm going to have a go with that and apart from that you if you've got any questions just leave them for me down below I'll list everything that I've that I'm using in the video for you as usual um, but if you have any comments and questions just leave them for me down below I do love to hear from you and apart from that sit back relax and enjoy so this is the first design I'll be doing and I've used colours 3, 7 and 8 and I'm just going to be applying them straight with the brushes that are um, in the polish bottles and I'm just going to be overlapping them. If you're putting a lighter colour on like I am on top of the darker colour I just sort of keep a um, cotton round on the side and I'm just wiping the brush off as I go because I don't want to contaminate my colours and um, I'm going to be using this Madame Glam it's actually a poly gel brush so I'm just going to be using that for blending them so I've got the blending solution there just decanted into that little um, container there and I'm just sort of using it um, off of the side I've also got my cotton round there for also for dabbing the brush onto because sometimes you do get too much um, solution on the brush so it's quite handy to have that there and also just to wipe any colors off your brush as well so you can always go in with more colour if you want to, if you feel like there's areas there that you want to add more colour to, you can. Um, and then you just use the blending solution to blend the colours together and to um, create some sort of negative spaces as well. So I've sped this part up quite considerably. The, the um, movie itself was going to end up being like about half an hour long. And so I've sort of sped it up twice the speed on all these parts that I'm actually creating the nail out with. So it does take time to do. It's not a really quick thing, but you obviously with practice, you will get faster. Um, I, I was in the zone. I was just sort of blanked out for how long it was actually taking me to do each design. And, um, I, you know, I just sort of thoroughly enjoyed how the um, inks sort of work together and how the col colours blended together and... Um, there was no sort of way on knowing exactly how it was going to turn out, you know, each design. So it was lots and lots of fun. And um, I am going to be showing lots of different colour solutions here as I'm going to go throughout the video. But you sort of get a general idea now on what I'm doing. Um, the inks do dry relatively quickly. Um, obviously the more layers you're adding the slight it's going to take slightly longer if you've sort of dabbed on two or three layers of a particular color at the start it will take a little while for it to just completely dry and um, you'll see that it's still quite shiny um, until it has actually fully dried and um, you can end up flooding the nail like I have a little bit on the bottom there as you can see but it's quite manageable and um, you know even when you've got the blending solution on if you put too much on you can just see it sort of pulling at the bottom of the nail there but it is quite manageable and it's easy to get control of it again so you can just leave it be for um, 20 or 30 seconds and it will completely dry or you can just use the brush as I am there just to mop up the excess um, if you want to or you can just let it dry like I said before so I'm just going to be quiet now you let you listen to the music and hopefully you've sort of got the gist of what I'm doing here um, and I will sort of meet you back at the end of the video.
Okay, so I'm back with the finished designs and what do you guys think? Um, I've had lots of fun trying these out and as you can see they're really versatile um, you can combine lots of different colours together to get quite different looks. Now I've top coated these, these two obviously have got a glossy top coat and then the rest I've just done with a matte top coat and um, there's a couple of favourites I've got there, I probably prefer the first two, I sort of like greens and blues anyway, but I thought I'd do some with, um, you know, pinks and purples, not too sure what I did with that one there, but anyway, <laughs> it's, it's a learning process, so, you know, you just got to try different colour combinations and things like that, um, and I did actually have a bit of a play with um, my CC and Sissy um, inks as well, and this is the designs I've come up with them. And I've also got, I did a self-made um, ink with um, a red Sharpie marker because I didn't have the red colour. So that one there and that one there, I think I've both got the red Sharpie marker on them. But um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of a comparison. So if you're on a bit of a budget or you can't get hold of these ones here, that you can actually use the CC and Sissy ones to do something really similar. Um, this one here, I've added a bit of gold foil to it. So that's why that looks like that. But you know, like the sky's the limit really as far as these sorts of things are concerned. So these ones here I did with um, CC, and C CC and Sissy water colors or water inks I've forgotten what they're called just off the top of my head and to do the blending I just use some isopropyl alcohol um, and then obviously these are the Apres ones here and um, they come with a blending fluid a blending solution that's a mixture of um, acetone and isopropyl alcohol so you know you can do your own sort of take on these but um, I'm really glad I still got them anyway because the colors are absolutely stunning um, I'm looking forward to doing some of these sorts of designs on my own nails as well so I'm going to see how I go with them and um, you can just use them as single colors you don't have to do blends and things like that like I have with these ones here you can just do um, you know a sweep of one color on your nail and just use them as um, sort of like as jelly polish if you want to so you know you're not limited by having to do something like this with them but anyway let me your thoughts and comments and questions whatever just down below and um i'll be more than happy to help answer any questions that i can and apart from that ladies thanks for stopping by i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are bye for now